Hello friends, in this session we are going to take up the ring counter and the Johnson counter. In the previous sessions we have covered all the kinds of ripple counters, the binary and the non-binary ones. So in case you've not seen those videos, you can please visit them which are attached in the same playlist. Now I'm going to start with the ring counter. So uh, uh, ring counter and Johnson counter, they are basically uh, very similar to both of uh, each of them but the entire thing basically differs only on the aspect of using a NOT gate. So we are going to discuss in it in detail that how that NOT gate is important and how it basically uh, makes the entire setup changed, right? So how the output differs by just using one NOT gate and where it is used, that is very important. So let's start with this ring counter. Uh, as we had already discussed the previous uh, counters, we uh, generally use the JK flip-flop in the toggle mode or the T flip-flop. But here I'm going to use a D flip-flop. So D flip-flop, what is its main uh, function? It's just it just inserts a delay, right? It is also called a transparent latch. Why? Because it just, uh, you know, it just transfers the input given to it as an output. So that is the main uh, characteristic of a D flip-flop. So now how have, I, uh, how have I arranged the flip-flops? I've just attached them one to one by this output getting attached as an input to this. And this, the output of the last flip-flop is attached as the input to the first flip-flop. Now I've just uh, uh, changed the arrangement little bit. This is Q3, Q2, Q1, Q0. So this is the most significant bit and this is the le least significant bit. Right. So uh, another thing is now this is not a ripple counter. This is a ring counter because of this ring being formed. And the other thing is this is a synchronous counter which means that all the flip-flops are synced with a single clock. They are not be uh, they are not uh, getting the clock pulse from their precedent uh, flip-flops as was the case in the ripple counters. But here all the flip-flops are synced together. They are getting triggered together with a single clock. Right. So now let's start with its working. So it is very simple and it is very, uh, you know, it is very uh, easy to notice over here is that this entire flip-flop is not self-starting. What do I mean by self-starting is if I set the entire thing as 0000, zero, zero, zero it is not going to change ever. Why is it that? Because uh, D is just going to transfer whatever it gets, right? So if I give this 0, it is just going to transfer 0 and the entire flip-flop is just going to uh, remain at 0000. zero, zero, zero. So it is not self start starting in this case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the input over here as 1. Right. So when I give this input at, as 1, in the next clock pulse what will happen is this is going to be set as 1 and this is going to be given as this. Uh, given as an input to this. And then what is going to happen in the next clock pulse this one is going to travel to here so on so it is basically very similar to a serial in serial out register now let's see the working so uh, initially i just input one to the first flip flop over here which is most significant bit so uh, this is one zero 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 then what i do is uh, okay so now this is after one clock pulse how is it so because it is going to take one clock pulse at least to set the output of that flip-flop of this Q3 flip-flop. So this is set to one. In the next in the next clock pulse, this one travels to the output of the next flip-flop. So on it travels to the next in the next one, travels to the next over here, and then in the next it travels to this. Because it was a ring counter it comes back to this. So now here the repetition occurs and in this manner it repeats itself. So how many stages are there? You can check over here. It is 1, 2, 3, 4. It has only 4 stages because here the repetition is occurring again. So it, it has only 4 stages but how many were the total stages that could be formed? There could be 2 to power 4 which is 16 stages so there are 12 unused stages over here now advantage over here is that decoding is very simple and no logic gate is required to decode this thing and 
नेक्स्ट वी मूव ऑन टू आर जॉनसन काउंटर नाउ वी सी व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द रिंग काउंटर एंड जॉनसन काउंटर नाउ जॉनसन काउंटर इज नथिंग बट जस्ट वी जस्ट हैव अ नॉट अटैच्ड इन दिस रिंग ओवर हियर सो व्हाट एवर इज द इनपुट कमिंग ओवर हियर इट गेट्स निगेटेड व्हेन इट इज फेड टू दिस सो अम वेरी सॉरी अबाउट दिस दिस इज फ्रॉम हियर so the entire thing the rest of the thing is same you have the ring attached in the same manner just a knot is attached over here so now this knot if you notice it carefully it makes the circuit as a self starting circuit now how is it so see if i state the entire thing as 0000 after 1 clock after 1 clock pulse what is going to happen now see after 1 clock pulse this is going to move it move a zero over here this is going to change it to 1 so it is eventually going to give the input as 1 over here right and then it is going to make it work automatically so that is the difference over here now let's see the working of johnson counter and yes johnson counter has many names it is called the twisted ring counter mobile counter clipping counter working counter switch tail counter so it may be asked in any of the exams may be so just remember these names let's move on to the working of this counter now so initially it was 0000 but the not changes the input to 1 so in the next clock pulse it is triggered automatically to this right now it transfers the same to this but again the previous one gives the input as 0 which is which is then uh, negated by the nand gate which sets it to 1 so this remains 1 over here this is the difference between this uh, johnson counter and r ring counter so this is the ring counter stages if you notice it was 1000 and 0100 now this is 1100 so this is not going to set to 0 so in this manner this one is going to travel and the previous ones are going to remain the same until a one comes over here and in the next clock pulse this one is going to be negated to 0 and this is now slowly going to clear the contents of the flip flops So in this manner, eventually, at the after the eighth clock pulse, you are going to get a state zero 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 zero, right? So now over here the repetition occurs. So let's count the uh, stages in this flip flop. So it is one, two, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a repetition. Now, why am I counting the zero 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 over here and not in the previous one? Because this is acting as a repetition stage when this uh, flip flop works, right? When this uh, counter works. So, therefore, this is also one of the stages. So, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight stages in this flip flop, and the maximum possible stages were sixteen. So, the usable uh states are also eight and the unused states are also eight in this case so that's all for this session of uh, your ring counter and johnson counter and with this we complete the entire portion of counters hope this playlist would have been very useful to you in case it did i'm glad to help you please stay tuned for more good work coming up thank you